What's going on, everybody? Good late morning. Hope you guys are doing well on this Thanksgiving. And like I said, we're bumping things around just a little bit today. We are doing the past coverage Thursday now, uh, a little bit later than we usually do, but um, the data stays the same. The data stays the same. So let's uh, take a look and see who's getting beat up in coverage and who's holding up. Uh, one thing I should say before we get into these numbers is that um, the uh, Pro Football Reference uh, tracker for coverage numbers was a little bit weird this week. They didn't update the targets and completions for most players, but they updated everything else. So I had to fill in the targets and completions manually based off the other numbers and just using heuristics. So it's possible some of the numbers are wrong, but if they're wrong, they're not wrong by very much. So I'm confident that like the yards and air yards and touchdowns and all that stuff is accurate, but the targets and completions may not be. Those will probably be fixed next week. But right now, they're the, the, the only one who got actually updated correctly was Witherspoon. To my, to my knowledge, everybody else on the team just has the same targets and completions from last week. So if I'm a little bit off there, that's why. All right, so starting with uh, the linebackers, Ernest Jones. Um... Not a ton of action on him this week. Three targets, I think it was three completions, and it was uh, 20 yards. And look, Ernest Jones is a slower linebacker. That is kind of his one weakness as a player. He is a little bit slower. So coverage is something that he's going to occasionally get uh, lit up in, and he's not getting lit up at all. Like, since he's gotten here, he's been totally fine. I think he had one not-so-good game against Buffalo, and other than that, it's been good. So, no problem there. 99.3 QB rating against on the season. Tyrese Knight got targeted a lot in this game. I, he got targeted about eight times. Five completions. I mean, you know, Trey McBride had a really good game, and Tyrese Knight gave up a lot of that. But um, you're talking about eight targets for about 50, 50 yards. I'm not that upset about that, especially against an elite tight end like Tyrese. Uh, I'm sorry, Trey McBride. So I'm not I'm not gonna get twisted up in knots about that. And either way, he's a rookie linebacker. L rookie linebackers usually are bad in coverage. Ninety six point seven QB rating against less than nine yards per target on average. I'm not worried about it. And you can see that. Look, it, it's not a big sample size because we we did have to go through the Baker and Dodson stuff earlier in the season. But neither linebacker is a big coverage liability right now. They're both doing fine. Um, nothing new for the edges. Um, I think that PFF gave one short completion to, uh, against Mafe, but PF, uh, PFR did not. So take that as you will, but not a lot going on here. Cornerback, looking at the cornerbacks here. Devin Witherspoon did get targeted uh, three times in this game, and he did allow three completions. And those three completions actually went for a non-trivial number of yards, over 40. So he did give up a decent amount in this game, which does go a little bit in determining why he didn't get graded all that well, maybe by PFF. And it does indicate that it wasn't a perfect game, but I saw some really good things from him in this game outside of just the coverage numbers. I mean, he basically created the pick six, right? It, it was his play more than anything else. Now, look, this is still a little bit of a sophomore slump. Um, he will probably end this season with close to 600 yards allowed in coverage. And that is a step back from where he was last year, both in terms of just the numbers and as a player. But I keep saying this, sophomore slumps are a real thing. They're not just something people say to make an excuse for somebody. They're a thing that happens. And he's still not playing poorly. And we, we, we have to see how he answers in year three. There's a reason why rookie contracts can't be renegotiated until after year three, I think. They want the player be able to have the rookie year, maybe go through the sophomore slump, and then see how they respond to year three before the negotiations even start. 98.8 QB rating allowed. I mean, we're, we're not happy about it, but it's not bad either. Woolen was another guy who gave up quite a bit in this game. It was mostly on one big play, right? But we're talking about five targets, four completions, according to my math, and almost you know, pretty close to 100 yards. I think it was 77 yards in coverage. And 
Look, the one big play he allowed was an incredible catch. I don't want to grill him for that. But bottom line is, Woolen needs to be so good in coverage to make up for the fact that he doesn't tackle and he's not good in run defense. And early in the season, that was happening. It's not happening anymore. Um, over the last um, few weeks now, he's been getting beat up back there. He's made clearly, objectively bad plays. And if that's going to be the case, I don't know what his future is here. But this is not really a guy I'm looking to extend in the offseason right now. This is a guy I'm going to wait to see what happens in year four now. And if he wants to hold out, then I'm I'm trying to move him. 94.6 QB rating allowed. That is a long way away from where we were when the season started. And I know some people take it very personally when you criticize Reek Woolen, but this is not good enough for a guy with these deficiencies. And the only other cornerback to play in this game was Joby. And as near as I could tell, he only got targeted twice and he only allowed one completion. And that one completion went for 24 yards. So it's a bigger play, but um, th this is a guy who didn't even start the season on the team. This is a guy who it's kind of a miracle that he's holding up. Like Trey Brown was supposed to be the third corner. And apparently we've just decided to uh, pull the plug on that completely. And we're just done with it. So the fact that we're getting good play out of Joby, the fact that he's not the guy getting picked on over and over and over again. And look, I'll say this. He got lucky because he gave up the touchdown to Michael Wilson that got called back on the holding call on Derek Hall. And then Marvin Harrison Jr. almost got his foot down in the end zone on the next play on Joby. We're having a different conversation if either of those plays go for touchdowns. I get it. But he is still playing way above his head. And we might be at the point now where we're thinking about, hey, can we keep this guy around in 2025? Because Trey Brown is not going to be here. And guys like Pritchett and um, D. Williams are probably not going to be ready to step into that role. So, real possibility. Okay, so that's it for cornerback stuff. Safeties to wrap things up. Julian Love was actually very clean in this game. He got targeted three times, but only one completion. And that one completion went for six yards. Six yards. That's, uh, I mean, Love is a guy who will give up stuff in coverage. You can look at the season so far. On average, you're looking at over 30 yards, uh, not over, but uh, somewhere around like 27, 26 yards per game. Six yards is a long way away from that. He almost had an interception on a third down where he made a brilliant play to break it up. Almost got his feet down, but great play regardless. Uh, still not having the greatest season overall in coverage, but that's probably partially because of the system. And it's also partially because of the fact that he's one of the guys that other teams are not afraid to target. Not because he's not good, but because he's not as threatening as some of the other guys. So not going to get twisted up on that. Rayshon, it was a rough game back for him, admittedly. Not so much in coverage, though. We're talking about three completions on three targets for less than 30 yards. Not the worst. His main problem was just he couldn't tackle. So it would have been probably like three completions for less than 20 yards if he could tackle, right? But overall, not having a great year in coverage, getting targeted a lot. Um, or excuse me, he's giving up a lot of completions on his targets. Um, probably not not much longer for this team. And Kobe Bryant, I mean, we, we all know what he did in that game. Uh, but if you go beyond just the pick six, two completions allowed on three targets for about 25 yards. And the interception, 62 QB rating against money. All right, that's it for this week. Let me know what you guys think. See you guys later. Go Hawks.